Um, who is watching or if you're new around here I'm Marie, I'm a mum of two I've got a nearly seven year old in seven weeks now and I've got a 21 month old today 15th isn't it so he'll be two in December he was premature I'd love you to stick around if you enjoy mum content um, I haven't posted for five months um, there's been a lot going on so I've seen one of my pumpkins down there then so yeah um, a lot's been going on it's been hectic with a toddler um, and I have tried attempting to film many times and then given up which is really bad so the more people that stick around the more encouragement I will get to video excuse all this on show here but yes so little man sleeping i'm going to be doing the school run in about 20 minutes but yeah this is just going to be a video about b &Ms. we've got a new b &Ms opened in eastbourne which is amazing it's like 10 minutes down the road from me obviously the last one was in hastings and i never really went haven't been for probably way over a year probably nearly a year and a half um just due to the fact that I've got a toddler and school runs, it's just really long to go over to Hastings. So I had to go in there. I did go in there yesterday, ended up putting my basket down and leaving, because you'll see from here, I haven't bought a lot. I still prefer home bargains, but I must say it's huge. It used to be the old cinema here. And they've got, obviously when it's quieter, I'll try and do a video as well in there. But, um, yeah, I still prefer home bargains, but they've definitely got a lot of gifts, Christmas gifts I saw. Um, I've always had my eye on these Sunday glass jars for children for £5. And um, they do a, a more variety now. They do like Willy Wonka and loads of different ones, but obviously I didn't get it this time because I know that I can get that next month. That's not a, a, a worry. Um, but I did pick up a few little bits, just bits that I think possibly will sell out or won't be around for long but yes yeah, so i'm going to show you i'm also going to do a video on what i bought for my seven year old for his birthday and obviously film party prep and yeah i've booked it at the sovereign center um in eastbourne so yeah um, they've got like a huge bouncy castle and a soft play you can have up to 30 children that was 180 pound we're going to make the cake um obviously we need to buy food but yeah i've bought some personalized birthday invites as well i'm just waiting for them to come and then i'll give out the invitations next week so i'll show you those as well but for now i'm going to show you what i've got in b&m's and stop ranting um but yeah this isn't a day in the life it's just just a quick video of what i've bought and then obviously i will be doing a huge birthday haul and then probably getting a day in the life up also a 21 month old update that would be great i know people love seeing those so yeah first of all we're going to start i only spent a total of 18 pound by the way um more because i've spent quite a lot of money this month um but i don't think i would have spent much more than that in there i bought this hulk birthday wrapping paper for ruben's birthday it's got all the characters on it. Um, I think it was £1.50 and you get four metres. As I say, now he's older, he hasn't got lots of little bits. So I'm hoping that will manage to wrap all his presents. Um, I haven't gone crazy, so he's having a party. He'll get given lots of stuff. So I've just, you know, I'm just going to go with it simple for him. I picked up this. This was, I think it was a pound. It's a four-in-one pedicure set. It's got a pumice stone. It's got a nail brush. It's got a metal file. And it's got an emery board. Um, yeah, so I was really impressed with that. They did just do the pumice stone, but I went and paid a little bit more for that. I picked up this for Joel. I saw that Hayley Emma got it for her little boy called Reuben and i've wanted it ever since because it is the cutest little bear flask i've ever seen but like i say um 
I wasn't going to travel to Hastings for it. It was the last one in there. It probably was the one that I picked up yesterday and put back. But yeah, it's um, got a straw. That was £3. So that's going to be his drinks bottle for nursery. Um, I picked up these, which I had to. I think they're the cutest things ever. I think they were like a pound. And there was all different ones, Santa ones. But I love the Rudolphs. You can see that. But they're basically um, Rudolph um, marshmallows, vanilla flavour. Obviously, you can put them in hot chocolate or baking or as a treat. Well, they're really cute. You could even get sticks and put fruit on them with that, like grapes, raspberries. Might even do something like that. But yeah, there's not masses of them. There's only 45 grams, so. <coughs> Sorry. Bless me. So yeah, but I recommend them. Then I have to show you these now. I obviously I think they will stop these up until Christmas, but I guarantee they'll sell out really quickly. Um, and everyone was asking me and my friend because we had them. Like, she bought loads as well. Um, I think she bought four. Um, and where are they? Where are they? Where are they? I managed to get the last train. I think it is the cutest. Look at it. It is so sweet the little face mini gingerbread trains i've never seen them before that is going to be for joel and then reuben i've given him the mini gingerbread santa house i don't know if you can see that but it is so cute it's got the little windows it's just yeah that is a perfect stocking filler so that is for the stocking um, I picked up this for one seventy nine, just as something to do um, when we're at home. Um, it's called the Blizzard Bubbles. Ruben's had one before, so yeah, I'd probably do that this afternoon. Um, then I picked up these Christmas cake decorations. Again, these were like a pound, and I thought that was really good value. So you've got, I don't know how well you can see this. But you've got a gingerbread man and a uh, holly, um, an elf and candy canes. I'm obviously going to use them to decorate cupcakes. I thought they'd be really cute. So yeah, I've got them and I couldn't resist. It's actually open a little bit. They had loads of these and I got one for Reuben last year. It's called the giant chocolate coin in gold. That's going to go in his stocking he loved that last year and i'm sure he'll love that this year um i picked up the lenore it was 249 in here i haven't had it in this scent it's in the ruby jasmine which is always lovely but again i don't know if that's cheaper because i haven't bought it for a long time but it was two pound 49 if you haven't used this i recommend it it's literally for creases i don't iron so in your school uniforms you literally chuck it on pull it and it literally just gets all the creases out and you hang it i can smell it. it's beautiful so yeah i got that because i've nearly run out of mine and the last thing i picked up was these i thought the pumpkin was the best one so it's basically the hot chocolate bomb it's got marshmallows in it these look like the really expensive ones that I've seen online for about six pound each. So I was really impressed with them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's in October. We have hot chocolates in October. I didn't get Joel one. Now I'm thinking I should have done. But I can always go back, I'm sure, and get another one. He can have a hot chocolate as well. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's... Um, going to be for Halloween and that was it that is what I got but yeah the Christmas bits are really good I totally recommend these I mean these are the cutest things I think I've ever seen and yeah um that is going to be my little B&M haul very small but yeah I am back I will be posting more so please stick around bye guys <laughs>